statewide newscast, Arkansas Today. Welcome back. Our French chef Serge from Vibrant Occasions Catering is here. And we have been taking a tour around the world when it comes to amazing food. And today we're in Italy. We are making mushroom risotto. I like to say we. Chef Serge is, and it already smells You're an amazing, amazing helper. You, you've been you. telling me all, giving me the Sous pointers chef. anyway how to do it right. <laughs> right. This looks amazing. I started with a little bit of butter, and I've already put the shallots in there and the mushrooms. You do the shallots for about a couple of minutes and get them to wilt. Be careful, don't, don't burn them. And afterwards, I put the mushrooms in there and for about three or four minutes until they wilt really well. And then you put the arborio rice, which is what we make the risotto with. Mm. And you get it in the butter a little bit. And what you mm -hmm. do is stir it in there to, to just give it that little nutty flavor. Mm -hmm. And once you get it in there for about a couple of minutes, we add the wine. The trick to risotto, good risotto, is the fact that you're going to have to be very patient. Patience, Patience yes. is, is and, the and key. And continue stirring. Continue stirring it and let the arborio rice go ahead and uh, absorb all the flavors. And, uh, and, 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 you know, right now you've got the mushroom flavor, you've got the onion, you obviously have the white wine already going. Mm -hmm. And for Seiko TV, we're going to go ahead and have one that's already been working on for so a little this, while. I always want to ask how long, but really it's when you get to the point that it looks like this. It, How it would looks you describe like, it one, like once this? you get once you once you get it like, like right here uh, uh, to this level, you go ahead and add a little bit of more of your stock. Mm -hmm. I made some mushroom stock and uh, basically boiled a lot of mushroom stems and, and some herbs and the recipe's online. Uh, but uh, but you you basically put a little half a cup again. Mm -hmm. you, you stir it. You mm -hmm. stir it gently and slowly, slowly until you get to point again. It absorbs all all the all the food. This is already almost there. It was almost there. At this point, you have to taste taste to make sure the flavor is good. You know, maybe you need to add a little bit of salt or pepper. Mm. And then once once we add a little bit, bit of salt, and I already tasted it just a second ago, so mm. I kind of know, uh, a little bit of pepper. Isn't that the fun of cooking is tasting all uh, the That's way. what you got to <laughs> taste it every time. The <laughs> biggest thing I tell you is always go ahead and taste mm -hmm. so that you you, 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 you know you and, and definitely season in layers. And we got a little bit of Parmesan. I got a little bit of uh, Asiago going in mm. here. And we're going to add our little bit of fresh tomato. And the beauty of risotto, again, is the fact that, you know, it's an open canvas. Mm -hmm. You can add uh, grilled chicken to this. You can add, uh, the, you know, we can add uh, um, uh, bay, bay scallops are amazing in this dish. Oh, yeah, that's and there we go. And, and once we get it done. a little bit of color there with what you what just What I added. did was, I'm sorry, I added a little bit of basil. We're talking a little bit of parsley, and we're ready to go. Basil, parsley, tomatoes, and, and voila, it looks absolutely delicious. The recipe was there on your screen, but it's also on our website, so you can go there. We'll see if we can get the final product for you. It looks amazing right here when it's all fancy. Can we see that? Chef Serge, you are the best. You can visit him at Vibrant Occasions Catering. And you can find the recipe on our website. Again, thank you. We love having you on, Chef Serge. Thank you for having me. We're back with more after this. Stick around.